Welcome back everybody inside the anatomy lab. This is going to be the third part of our muscles of the shoulder girdle series and today we are going to discuss shoulder protraction. Of course there is going to be a small exercise at the end of the video that will help you to not only memorize all the structures that we are discussing but also will help you to deepen your understanding of the movement. To understand protraction I peeled away all the muscle layers that you have a clear view of the bones and it's a pretty simple movement it's just moving your shoulders forward while maintaining the plane. Here you can see how the scapulas kind of like a bobsled slide along the rib cage when protracting. So it's a pretty straightforward move in the most literal sense. When I did my research for this animation I mostly came across pictures and animations with a lifted arm and a slightly winged out inferior tip of the scapula. This has a practical reason because in this position the primary mover of protraction, the serratus anterior, has its biggest range of motion and you would also exercise it with a lifted arm. Let's look at the serratus anterior. You can see it inserts at the medial border of the scapula and when the serratus anterior contracts, it exerts all its force onto the scapula and pushes the arm forward. That's why it's also called the boxer muscle. Here you can see it from a bird's eye view and see how it just pulls the scapula forward to make this move happen. Of course the serratus anterior is not the only muscle who is making this movement happen. It has some help from the pectoralis minor and in some sources the pectoralis major is also mentioned and I would say it's especially the upper fibers who contribute to make this movement happen. Maybe you want to palpate your pectoralis major while performing a protraction and feel how much it is actually engaged in the movement. Here's an honorable mention, the rhomboids, because they stabilize the scapula while protracting. They also control the rate and the range of motion of the movement. So I think this is enough information about the muscles and I would say we lift the arm and put all the muscles on display so we can start doing our exercise. And this time I want you to start again with the primary mover, the serratus anterior and the pectoralis minor. Just feel when you slowly protract your shoulders how the muscles engage in the movement. Maybe you want to palpate, as I said before, your pectoralis minor and major and feel the fibers. I also invite you to play around with the range of motion and uh, with the placement of the arm. You can have them lifted like you see here or you just drop your arms. Also I want to invite you to play around with the rotation of your arms and see what this does to the range of motion of the protraction and also what this does to the scapula. In other words, just have fun with the movement and play around. If you repeat this process, you will have it down in no time, I can assure you of this. I think we covered enough ground to get a hold of this movement. If I missed out any important information or you want to add something that you might think is valuable to the rest of the community, don't hesitate to leave a short comment in the comment section. I'm always very happy to read up on your thoughts. I wish you a very pleasant day and hope to see you soon back inside the lab.